Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today the road brings me to Shuler, Virginia, and I am standing in front of the home of Earl Hamner. That name may sound familiar. He was a writer of the famous TV show, The Waltons. This was his boyhood home, and also the place where he wrote the TV series. We are going to go inside and take a look, as well as some other buildings and some things that looks just like they did on the movie set, and you get to come with me. But right after this station, identification. <music> The Waltons Hamner House. In memory, I go there each night. I stand beside the gate, look up to the house, and once again I hear the voices of my mother and father, my brothers and sisters, as we call good night to each other before we sleep. Earl, Earl Hamner, Jr. Well, I just happen to have the key. This is like stepping back in time. lady who bought this house to keep it from being torn down she was a fan of the show you can really tell from the extent that she has gone to just what type of fan she was she was a good fan and she did a very good job on this house restoring it to look just like it did originally she was also friends with Earl Hamner when the house was restored, the kitchen was extended out. Before the restoration, the part where the sink is was a porch that we know from the TV show. I might add, this is also a bed and breakfast. The guests are allowed to come and stay. This could be your room here. You could come and stay the night or the weekend or however long you want. And it comes complete with a home cooked breakfast. All three of Earl Hamner's sisters slept in this room. From the outside looking in, you would think this should have been Earl's room. In actuality, all the girls slept in one room and the boys slept in the other room. Only four boys slept in the boys' room at a time. By the time James was old enough, he would be out of the crib and Earl had gone off to college. This is a photograph of Earl Hamner sitting on the bank overlooking the Rockfish River. This was his actual, this was actually his last trip to the mountain. He was already not feeling well and he was diagnosed with cancer once he got back to his home in California. At night, across a mountain when darkness falls, the winds sweep down out of the hollows. The wild things with their shining eyes come to the edge of the clearing. At such an hour, the house seems warm and safe, an island of light and love in a sea of darkness. At such an hour, the word home must have come into being, dreamed up by some creature that never knew a home. In his yearning, there must have come to mind the vision 
of a mother's face, a father's deep voice, the aroma of fresh baked bread, sunshine in the window, the muted sounds of rain on the roof, the sigh of death, the cry of a newborn babe, the voices calling good night, home, an island, a refuge, a haven of love. Good night, John boy. Okay, this house is John and Olivia's house. Of course, it's not the original. This house is only just a few years old, but the inside of it is decorated to look like it actually did on the movie set with some of the original props and we are going to go inside and take a look martha corinne comes from her mountain to walton's mountain and you actually we see her over with elizabeth by the radio running the spinning wheel and then later in the same episode we actually see her using a vacuum that looks like this right in this general area uh -huh. okay wow then right over here in the grandparents room in the episode, The House, Grandma and Grandpa are upset with each other, and by the end scene, Grandpa has put the Whitley window in for Grandma. Also, on the nightstand, you see Grandma is in the very door that you're in, and that's to show you that that door was really on the set. So, both of these two doors were actually on the set. Food was being prepared in back of them. So we've never really seen any cast go through this one. So it's a little bit of a gift shop and bathroom. We have seen Mary Ellen just go and uh, grab a broom out of that one. So also in the episode, The Boy from the CCC, when Gino comes to the mountain from Hell's Kitchen, first the Walton kids meet him. He's starving and he wants to eat Pete the raccoon that Elizabeth wants as a pet. Then, he actually tries to steal the Walton's egg money out of here. I remember that one. <laughs> yes. So come on over here. So over here we have some actual, like, war bond coupon things that they use back in the day. Uh, this jewelry is from Ellen Corby, or Grandma Walton's estate. The glasses are from the episode, The Carnival. Remember, Grandma had them on the table and they got slung across and that's why the kids didn't get to go to the carnival. Mm. Um, now, the train does exist still here. It's about six miles away. And we hear it four times a day or night. And then the little can is exactly like the one Grandpa's holding and we believe it's from 1929. Mm. At his house one month before he passed away. Mm. Uh, just on July 10th, he would have turned 98 years now, old. Now, when did he pass away? Uh, March 24th, 2016. He was 92. Mm. So this toy has been signed by Joe Conley, who played Ike Godsey. Wow. Yes. On top of being 50 years old. So, let's head upstairs. We have the Big Chief tablet, Baldwin Sisters typewriter, his glasses. The um, newspaper article is about the Hindenburg crashing because, of course, John Boy was there when it crashed. He did really find a peacock on the way home. Mm -hmm. And so we do have Rover next door. He's not tied up or anything. He's just walking around. Um, also in 1933, at Christmas time, um, just like in the episode, the home or the pilot, the homecoming, Earl Sr., or Daddy, he had gone over to Waynesboro to work at DuPont, and so he was late coming home on Christmas Eve. And that's, of course, the whole premise of the homecoming movie. So that did also really happen. There's a lot of things. Go in so you, you can see the picture to the left. So in the episode The Woman, it was John and Olivia's anniversary. The kids painted themselves into a picture much like that. The original is gone. Nobody knew to keep anything like that and the Waltons had actually been set up to fail. The quilt 
has been signed by everybody, including uh, Richard and Michael. The quilt has been made to look like the episode The Quilting, where Grandma and Mary Ellen are upset with one another. Uh, of course, the doll looks like from the episode The Foundling. We have Lance and Pete from those two episodes. And then on the dresser, the tray and handheld mirror, those are um, from the set. They've been donated by two different ladies. And you would have um, seen those either in the girls' room or the parents' room because on the set that doubled as both. Does anybody remember Reckless from the show? We are now in the high school where all of the Hamners went to high school. And a lot of photographs on the wall. This is called the John Boy Room. Have it fixed up like John Boy's bedroom. There's a lot of information on the Waltons. Said that when it was put out, that CBS did not think it would go. It was, they said that the series was produced to fail, but it did not. The Waltons lunchbox, cups, games, all types of Things, even cutouts, Walton's paper dolls. I have never seen those. Those are the Walton's action figures. Here is Godsey's store. Marion Hamner Hawks with Mary Ellen. Mm -hmm. And there's Judy Norton Taylor that played Mary Ellen. Audrey Hamner. And here's James Hamner. He was played by Jim Bob. Cliff Hamner was played by Jason. Cliff Hamner, he was Jason. And there is John Wamsley. Paul Hamner and Bill Hamner, they both represented Ben. And here is Earl Hamner Jr. Played by Richard Thomas as John Boy. Here is a, another recreation of the Walton's kitchen as seen on the movie set. Of course, the original set is in Hollywood, but this is basically how it would have been set up. Allegedly, the Baldwin sisters were based on the wife and daughter of the soapstone plant manager. They lived in a mansion in Eastmont, seven miles away, and made a special moonshine from apricots instead of apples, which was normally used in Schuler. They say this is not the actual Baldwin Sisters recipe machine, but it is real and it was confiscated locally.
This is the old stone church on the top of Walton's Mountain. This would be our representation of the Godsey's General Store. The original burned down many years ago and has been replaced, but now it is just a little convenience gas station type store. I'm gonna go inside, get me a drink, and hop on the motorcycle and get back on the road. Good night, Mama. Good night, Dan. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mama. Good night, Daddy. Good night, children. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Kim Bob. Good night, Kim Bob.